Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in this video I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the red kite. In recent years, conservation success stories in the UK have been few and far between, but red kites definitely belong on that list. Following years of unwarranted persecution and egg collection, red kites actually went extinct in England and Scotland in the 1870s and by the turn of the 20th century, there are only a handful of pairs left in remote central Wales. However, following increased legal protection and the release of six birds from Wales and 82 birds from Spain into a region of central England, red kite numbers have soared over the past 30 years. There are now thought to be as many as 6,000 pairs in Britain. They have also been reintroduced to Northern Ireland when the numbers are rising but there are still less than 100 pairs. Red kites are large birds with a wingspan of around 5 feet and grow into weights of up to 2.5 pounds. That's 152 centimetres and 1.1 kilos. Their wings have a white band and five black finger-like feathers protruding from each end. They also have hazel shoulders and chests. They have silvery grey heads with a small yellow hooked beak and their most noticeable feature is their forked tail. If you get to see this from above or behind, it has a reddy brown colour. Red kites are a mainly lowland species, relying on a mixed habitat with open farmland, valleys or wetland for finding food and mature broadleaf woodland for nesting and roosting. Their diet is mainly made up of carrion and roadkill. They are not well equipped to tackle larger living prey but they do sometimes take young and small birds and rodents. They will also eat invertebrates such as beetles and worms, especially during the springtime. In some places where red kite numbers are high, there are feeding stations that have been set up where people can pay to see hundreds if not thousands of the birds swooping down for food supplied by landowners. Red kites reach sexual maturity at between 2 and 4 years of age. At this point, they'll begin to pair up and will construct up to five twig platform nests high in forks of deciduous trees within their territory. In April, the female will select one of these nests to lay her eggs in and in the days before laying, both birds decorate this nest with wool, leaves and sometimes even litter or cloves. Once decorating is complete, the female will lay between one and four blotchy cream coloured eggs that measure just over five and a half centimetres long. Incubation starts with the first egg, and as it takes a few days for them all to be laid, the chicks will also hatch out at intervals. This happens 31 to 32 days later, when the white, down-covered chicks emerge. For the first two weeks, the female stays with the young chicks, whilst the male brings food for her and for the growing youngsters. During this time, competition between the young can be really fierce, and it isn't unknown for the oldest chick to kill and eat the youngest. After two weeks, the mother joins the father in bringing the chicks food and from 45 days of age, the young birds begin to branch out from the nest. After 50 to 70 days, the young are ready to fully fledge and then they spend a further 15 to 20 days in the area of the nest being fed and taught by their parents. After this, they often go on large journeys sometimes hundreds of miles from their site of hatching, only returning to the area when they themselves are ready to breed. Here is an example of a red kite's call. Outside of the UK, red kites are also found across Central Europe, particularly France, Germany, Spain and Italy, and they are also resident in a small part of Morocco. In the winter, the European birds migrate to the southern parts of their range, but in the UK they are mostly resident all year round. Red kites have an average life expectancy, if they make it to the point of fledging, of around 10 years, although the oldest known wild bird made it to 26 years of age. Well there we go, if you learned something new, check out this British wildlife video, and if you enjoy that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.